How often do you find yourself saying or doing things without a second thought? Are you in control of your emotions or do you often react immediately to your surroundings? Emotional maturity is more than a matter of age. It's about the way you treat yourself and those around you. It doesn't always come easy and you may even find yourself struggling with it for years. If you'd like to start trying to be a better, more emotionally mature person today, then here are 8 things emotionally mature people don't do. Number 1. Overreact Do you often let your feelings get the best of you? Do you tend to say or do things you know you'll regret later? An aspect of being emotionally immature is the tendency to overreact to everything since you don't know how to deal with difficult situations in a calm and constructive manner. You may have a short temper, have frequent mood swings, and are likely to get angry and frustrated when things don't go your way. Number 2. Do you often hold grudges against people who have upset you? While it's natural to feel angry, disappointed, or frustrated with the people you love for doing you wrong, holding grudges to purposefully punish them or make them feel guilty in return is a sign of emotional immaturity. It takes a lot to forgive someone who has hurt you, and even more to try and understand from their point of view. Number 3. Emotionally Blackmail People Have you ever given someone the silent treatment as a form of payback? Emotional blackmail is a concept popularized by psychotherapist Susan Forward, and it's a common dynamic of many toxic relationships, where one tries to control and manipulate the other through tactics such as fear, obligation, and guilt. Other examples of this include withdrawing affection, acting passive-aggressive, and threatening to end the relationship or replace them with someone else. Number 4. Deny your problems Do you run away from your problems or live in denial of them? While those who are more emotionally mature understand that overcoming their problems, pushing through their struggles, and facing their fears is the healthiest way to truly grow as a person, those who are emotionally immature tend to live in denial and distract themselves from confronting their problems. So it may be a sign that you're emotionally immature if you have the habit of avoiding and running away from conflicts. Number 5. Blame Others Do you take responsibility for your own actions? People who are quick to play the blame game and point their finger at everyone but themselves lack the self-awareness to own up to their mistakes and take responsibility for their actions. Always blaming other people for the things that go wrong in your life is an unhealthy and immature way of coping with the shame and guilt you may feel when you do something wrong. Number 6. Beat Yourself Up do you often get mad at yourself for even the tiniest mistake or beat yourself up over the things that are out of your control? Another way emotional immaturity may manifest itself is through constant and excessive self-criticism. Therefore, learning to value self-love, self-compassion, and to learn to forgive yourself for mistakes you make is a step towards emotional maturity. Number 7. Act self-absorbed Do you feel the need to be the center of attention a lot of the time? This want for attention or validation from others may be because you base your self-worth on how others see you. As a result, you may end up constantly putting your own needs before others or by demanding that others give in to what you want and need. Number 8. Always need to be right Have you ever found yourself getting really angry and frustrated with someone because you insist on being right? The sign of emotional immaturity is a refusal to listen to what other people have to say because you feel the need to always be right. Refusing to openly discuss or debate with others or to have your opinions be challenged may be a sign of emotional immaturity. Do you relate to any of the signs mentioned here? If so, what do you plan to do next? Tell us about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it with others who may find it helpful too. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more psychology content. All the references used are also added in the description box below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.